here's the way I see the shaking down, Kevin. If you can re-sign Melky, and I don't think they're going to do it, but if you mm-hmm. could re-sign Melky, you can. You, we know it, even even before, and we said this even when they were winning, they need another everyday position player. You mm-hmm. can't get by with the guys you had in center field. You can't get by with your second base situation. Brett Laurie healthy takes care of one of those two spots. The very least, Alex Anthopoulos has to look at adding a, and this sounds so cliche, he's, he, he, he's got to add a complete player. Mm-hmm. He's got to add somebody, whether it's a center fielder. Martin Prada. Or somebody. A guy like that is what you're saying? You know what? I think you got I think you got to aim a little higher. I think they, they need to aim a little uh, that, higher to try to get. That's going to cost you. Okay. Of course it's going to cost so. you. But they need to get another everyday player who can be a key part of their lineup offensively. A, a, a guy who can, and, and that's even with Melky coming back. Now, if Melky doesn't come back, I, I don't know what they do because I, I've seen nothing from Kevin Pillar to suggest he can play every day in a winning team. I think Anthony Ghost is a fourth outfielder, and I'm prepared to live with Anthony Ghost as my fourth. I can put him in all three outfield positions. He's going to catch the ball. I can use him off the bench to steal steal bases. I, I think we need to come to the conclusion that as young as he is, the chances are pretty good Anthony Ghost is not going to be an everyday player. I don't think he's got enough pitch rec- recognition. I don't think he's smart enough at the plate. I I, I just don't see I, I don't see things that suggest to me this is an everyday player. So I, I've got Ghost as a bench guy. But I don't have anybody else. I, John Mabry Jr., Bench guy. Mm-hmm. I, I'm looking at a team right now that doesn't have, if it doesn't bring Melky back, doesn't have a left fielder, doesn't have a center fielder. Who plays second? Right now, I don't think they have a second baseman. Well, I'll tell you, I've for me, it's Brett Laurie, and then you go and look for a third baseman. But that's not that's not filling that's not filling a hole. I, I'm looking right now if Melky doesn't come back at two significant holes in the lineup and I don't have anybody in this team that can fill I'm sorry if there are people out there who think that Kevin Pillar or Anthony Ghost can play every day Mm -hmm. on a winning team you know this isn't we've seen this for a while now Anthony Ghost it's not like he's been up for two weeks right he's had plenty of chances and going into spring training the Jays were fully prepared to have Anthony Ghost win win the center field job fully prepared to have him win that job and then maybe move on from Colby Rasmus so I think we have to look at things and come to the conclusion that this is a team that as much as it's got those core players, Batista and Carnacion, I kind of consider Linda core player, mm-hmm. Jose Reyes, Navarro. They've got to add at least two everyday players to that lineup. And and hopefully, and and, and the thing I, I, I know is that Alex looks at things this way. Ho- hopefully there'll be guys who do just more than, than grip and rip. Hopefully you can add, you can add somebody who's a bit, more of an accomplished hitter and kind of rounds things well, out a bit. Well, you're saying that grip and rip thing's not working. You just mentioned, what'd you say, five for 39 or whatever mm-hmm. it was? That's not going to work against good teams. See, it works when it, it works when you have Jose Reyes and Melky Cabrera at the top of the order. People, people, I think, really, we realize now how important Melky is. Everybody knew while well, Melky's having mm-hmm. a good year, the numbers are good. But Melky's value to this team goes beyond the numbers. It's that switch hitting bat. Mm-hmm. In the number two spot, a guy with a short swing. He's got great bat control. It's like having, it's almost like having an engine in the field. You know, this is the guy that can do all the little things to move runners over. And oh, yeah, by the way, he can hit a home run every now and then, or right. he can hit a double. Puts and, pressure on everybody, is what you're saying. Yeah. Defense, opposing pitchers, it makes them think. And then when they start thinking about things, they hang breaking balls to Batista and Canarcion, mm-hmm. possibly Lind. It just, adds up to the going in the right direction. But it's like you said, if they don't sign Cabrera, where do they go? You, then then it's going to be like last night when we were sitting around watching the game last night and then get, uh, John Gibbons starts pinch hitting for everybody yeah. in the sixth inning. From It's like yeah. not only do you have to worry about who's going to pitch the sixth, seventh, and eighth, you have to worry about who's hitting in that. That's just not going to work. I'm, I mean, taking, I'm taking somebody else's failed 25th man and pinch hitting him for my 25th man. But you have four or five yeah. of them in yeah. your lineup well, every day. That's, it's hard to do that and win.